Hey everybody, this is Bruce Bishop from the Chronicle Telegram. Uh, out here at the scene at Mercy Allen Hospital uh, with reporter Lena Yost. Uh, we have an incident going on that right now we can confirm that there was a fentanyl exposure. Uh, there have been injuries related to it. However, we don't know how many at this time. Um, the hazmat units are here. There are ambulance vehicles from all over the county. We have a uh, Lorain County uh, command and communications vehicle set up that's operated by Homeland Security. You can see there are the roads closed off here outside the hospital. We also have um, an incident going on at Walmart that uh, people stay away from the area. It's believed to be tied to this. However, there is no confirmation on that. So uh, right now we can't confirm that, but there is a police vehicle with all of the doors open, some equipment scattered on the ground around the vehicle, and that's um, all being blocked off and barricaded. About four rows of parking have been shut down, and it's now being maintained by police and fire. So this is the hazmat unit suiting up to go either into the hospital or over by another vehicle. We don't really I will tell you all of the entrances to the hospital have been closed off. So I would suspect uh, somebody is saying that the ER is closed. We don't know that. Um, it just, it would make sense at this point because there's really no good way for them to be operating. You can see they're using uh, duct tape to seal everything around their boots, around the edges of their gloves. There is a life flight transport unit over there. We did talk to Tom Kelly from Lorraine County EMA, well, former Lorraine County EMA. It's now the, uh... sorry there. It's now known as Homeland Security. It falls under their umbrella. Um, he said that he would consider this to be a major incident. So we have no idea how many injuries there are at this point or the uh, status of any of the injured people. Sarah's asking about any concern for people who were in the Walmart parking lot. You know, it, all I'm going to say outside of, uh, outside of the newspaper, all I'll say is, you know, my basic understanding of fentanyl is that it's something where if you're exposed to it, it's a fairly immediate thing. Um, if you've been there and gone for a while and you feel fine, odds are that you're going to be just fine. Again, that's just my, my personal understanding. I wouldn't uh, take too much of that. I have a lot of questions asking about how this started. So a lot of people joining in. So I'll just give you guys a quick recap on things. Uh, we have reporters at Walmart standing by we have reporters here at Mercy Allen Hospital. There is a um, Overland police cruiser that is in the parking lot with all of the doors open. There's equipment scattered around. Uh, it looks like the officer's tactical vest is laying on the ground. Um, that parking lot area has all been secured by police and fire. It's all been closed off. 
and there is nobody there, which makes sense because they are all here at the hospital right now. Um, the hazmat unit is. And that would make sense because if, say, there were an exposure at Walmart, that's just a single vehicle, whereas they would follow up over here to make sure everybody's safe here. So we don't have any details beyond the fact that there has been a fentanyl exposure. And there are some people injured, but beyond that, we don't know how many, we don't know the extent. West Lorraine Street is closed. Uh, it appears that all the entrances to the hospital are closed at this time. And we're standing by in a PIO area right now. It's the public information officers. They will be uh, putting together a statement. So we'll have more information for everybody coming fairly soon. Lena, I've been saying a lot of the things that you already told me. Do you have anything to add to this at all? I think you're doing a great job. We're gonna okay, see I, think, on TV I, I think we're covered. Okay. I will also say that um, as far as road closures go, uh, somebody's asking about JVS. I would expect there shouldn't be any problem there because there's really no other road closures beyond West Lorraine Street. Uh, the parking lot inside Walmart is closed off. It does appear that Walmart is still operating though. It's just a major section of their parking lot has been closed off for safety concerns. Beverly's asking how it was distributed. We don't know anything about those kind of details. Um, I just I will say that pure fentanyl does not take very much to do significant amounts of damage. So I don't really know anything about how anything got moved around. As for the people asking about the kids at JVS, again, they are they are completely insulated from this. There's no problem with them. They're not near anything. There are no road closures near there. Uh, we have two locations. One is in the middle of the Walmart parking lot, which is barricaded off. Nobody can get near that, and everything is fine there. And we have hazmat units here at Mercy Allen Hospital. So I have from the newsroom uh, asking me a question. I did send something via Slack. So if you guys want to check Slack, there's at least one photo to go with there. See, the hazmat team is is moving from their position moving forward now. We're gonna see where they're heading from here. One of the things the hazmat team will do before they uh, enter a scene, they will do a briefing. I would guess that's what's going on right there now. I see they're handing out masks. All right, everybody, uh, we thank you for tuning in. We will be back with updates as things develop. Right now, there's, there's not much else that we can report from here, but we will let you know as soon as possible.